Bonjour amigos. Um, I'm making this video as an update regarding my video for the shipping container housing. I found out from research that this housing is going to Hawaii for Urban Training Center. And I'm not happy about it. It's going to Pohukuloa, Hawaii. Um, and I have the information on my old video. All these shipping containers are being made into housing and apparently, hopefully, it's for the um, military personnel that are going to be conducting urban training in Pohukuloa, Hawaii. I'm really not happy about it because if you look up Pohukuloa, Hawaii Urban Training Center, you'll find that they're using depleted uranium and also that they're expanding the training center and I think these containers are probably part of it. They were supposed to ship today. Um, I don't know why they decided to build them here. I guess it's cheap because we have so many illegals. But um, I'm really not happy about it. Uh, uh, any urban training, more training, more military, more war, more machines, more helicopters, more billion dollar planes, and, I mean tanks, I mean, I've had it, I've really had it. My daddy was in the Navy in 1927. He joined when he was 17. He wanted to serve his country. Then he went back and joined the army in World War II and, and flamethrowered people on islands that were in caves just trying to hide their ass. And uh, he, still, he still hated them the day he died. Well, maybe not the day he died, but right before that he still hated all those people. He thought they were horrible enemies that he was flaming. And uh, he told me stories about stepping on bodies and so forth. And when I was 18 years old and told him that I didn't like war, he uh, was not happy about it. But you know what? I still don't like war. And, and now I found out these shipping containers are going to, to, to Hawaii, the beautiful, most gorgeous place in the world, where they're, they're having to fight the government over depleted uranium being left on the island from these military training. It's not even a war, it's just training. So I'm really upset about it. And my camera's broke. I'm looking at a broken screen right now, so I can't take a video of myself until I get a Sharpie, put the camera up there, take a picture, and measure where it is, and try to see if I can get myself in the photo, because the camera screen broke for no apparent reason. I guess they're very delicate. I was careful of it. But I wanted to give you guys an update. I've got so much information. Uh, please write to me. Blessings. Bonjour, here's what I'm talking about. I got challenges because I have so much information. Here's my folder I showed you before. It's called InfoWar. Here's the stuff I haven't put away yet. I got this little folder called unsorted info and we go to that one and there's 49,000 other things so you know I'm here to share info and um, this is the stuff I haven't sorted yet and put in folders and then I have the stuff that I've already sorted and put in folders and I have this huge stock of information and I want to share it. I'm really upset about that last video finding out that in my hometown that they're sending these things to Hawaii for a training base that uses depleted uranium and it's going to blow up part of the island of Hawaii. I mean, m most of us, I believe, many of us, but I think most of us around the world, I'm not talking about U.S., would would kill to live in Hawaii and you know how dare they put this training place there but anyway please write to me and let me share my information blessings hi there it's the last thing I'm going to say which um, was just a thing I've been thinking about about my home page uh, on my home page, I have a little quote from Thomas Jefferson where he said, We deplore the event which shall oblige us 
to retaliate shed blood for blood, and shall resort to retaliation but as the means of stopping the progress of butchery. He said that because my uncle, Ethan Allen, who's quoted further down on the page, was taken with other people by the British as a prisoner. And Thomas Jefferson had every thought that these people would be butchered because of the treatment they were given. So he said, we deplore the event which shall oblige us. In other words, he was not the aggressor. They were feeling that they were obliged and had to retaliate because these people were <coughs> bound, chained, taken in ships to Britain, to another country. And they were warning the British that they should resort to retaliation as the means of stopping the progress of butchery. And I am not an aggressive person, as you know. Neither is my son or my me and my family. But it is important to remember that in stopping the progress of butchery, we must take action. That is why I have this quote. 